Hey, what's up, Kemp peeps? In this vid, we are going to continue to talk about how the strength of an acid or base relates the equilibrium constant, K. Breaking it down a little differently, in this vid, though, we're gonna talk specifically about percent ionization and how we can calculate percent ionization for a weak acid. So, what the heck is percent ionization? Well, typically, we're gonna do it for weak acids and bases, and this just tells us the relationship between the concentration of the hydronium or hydroxide ions that have been ionized and the initial concentration for the weak acid or base. It's another way for us to tell essentially the relative strength of a weak acid or base. The greater the percent ionization, the stronger the acid. The smaller the percent ionization, the weaker the acid. So as you take a look at the formula that's on your screen and in your notes, recognize it for weak acids. It's a relative comparison between hydronium ion to initial concentration of weak acid, but you could also do it for weak bases where you're looking at the relative concentration of hydroxide ion that has been ionized relative to the initial concentration of the weak base. Again, just recognize that for weak acids, we have relatively little amounts or small amounts of hydronium ion relative to the initial concentration of our weak acid. All right, only a couple of things to think about when it comes to the percent ionization equation. Recognize that diluting an acid will increase the percent ionization. And as you think about that, diluting your acid is gonna make this number on the bottom smaller. Now there will be a change in the hydronium ion concentration to keep Ka constant for any acid. This will decrease as well, but not as much relative to the decrease in the initial acid concentration. I think it's best to clarify this with an example. And you've got this example in your notes, but take a look at hypochlorous acid, HClO. Imagine that we had a 0.1 molar solution. On your screen, you're shown how to come up with the concentration of the hydronium ion, and then the percent ionization is determined by simply taking that concentration of hydronium ion, comparing it to the initial concentration of the weak acid, and then multiplying by 100 to get the percent ionization. Notice that if we dilute our weak acid solution, we go from 0.1 to 0.01 molar, we solve for hydronium ion concentration the same way. However, diluting the concentration of our weak acid has increased the percent ionization almost threefold. And if you're really confused by that, the takeaway here is simply to recognize that if you dilute your acid, so as the acid concentration decreases, the percent ionization will increase. Conversely, the more concentrated your acid is will decrease the percent ionization. Again, take a moment just to study this image on your screen and in your notes. All right, let's just take a quick minute to work through an example to hopefully help clarify this idea of percent ionization. We've got a 2.5 molar nitrous acid solution. First thing I'm gonna do is write the equation for that nitrous acid with water. Boom. We're looking for the percent ionization. And the formula for percent ionization for a weak acid is the concentration of the hydronium ion over the initial concentration of our weak acid. In this case, HNO2 times 100. So because this is a weak acid, I can't just assume that the concentration is 2.5 molar. It's gonna be something much less than that because it's a weak acid and HNO2 doesn't completely ionize. So to determine hydronium ion concentration, ice table time. Boom, drop in the water. This is initially 2.5 molar. These are initially zero molar. I think about stoichiometrically how these things will change and then what the equilibrium concentration will be. Boom. Okay, so as I think about solving for percent ionization, I already know the concentration, the initial concentration of my weak acid to be 2.5 molar. I need to use the ice table that I've just created to determine what the hydronium ion concentration is in this solution. I'm gonna set up my Ka expression. Boom. I'm gonna plug in the value for Ka and the equilibrium concentrations from my ice table. I'm gonna make the X is small approximation. X is small approximation and K because initial concentration of HO2 and Ka differ by a factor greater than a thousand. Again, always explicit. All right, that will simplify our Ka expression of 4.0 times 10 to the minus four equals X squared over 2.5. Jump to our calculator. Four point zero second E negative four close brackets times 2.5 answer. Second square root second answer answer. X equals 0.032 molar. Remember, that's my concentration of hydronium ion. I'm gonna take that value and plug it in to my percent ionization formula. Then I'm just gonna solve. Two point five times one hundred. We get one point three percent ionized. Boom. Small percent ionization, something we should expect for a weak acid. We are done. 